you just a little bit about some stuff and stuff. It's sort of the benefit of people who don't know about uh, the uh, patron of our order, the patron saint of Poland. St. Stanislav was a bishop in Krakow. Chief of the member having been martyred by the Polish king, Bolsonaro II, called the Bold. He was born in a village in Poland and was educated at the cathedral school in Gartner, then the capital of Poland, and later in France. On his return to Poland, he was ordained a priest by the then Bishop of Krakow. After the Bishop's death in 1072, he was elected the Bishop's successor, but he only accepted this on the explicit command of Pope Alexander II. His initial problem was a conflict with the king over a land dispute. The Bishop had purchased a piece of land for the diocese on the banks of the Vistula River near Lubin from a, a gentleman called Peter. <coughs> but after Peter's death, the land had been claimed by the family. The king ruled for the claims, but Stanislav asked the king for three days to produce a witness to the contrary. The king and the court laughed because he said that he was going to produce Peter, the man who had died. Anyway, the king obviously granted him his wish. No harm in that. Stanislav spent the period of time in ceaseless prayer, and then dressed in his full bishop regalia, he went with the procession to the cemetery where Peter had been buried three years earlier. He had Peter's grave dug up until his remains were discovered. And then before a multitude of witnesses, Stanislav bade Peter arise, and he did. Peter was brought before the king to testify that the land had been ruled by Stanislav. The dumb hand in court couldn't do anything other than to believe. And Peter testified that Stanislav had paid for the land. Unable to give any other verdict, of course the king ruled for the bishop. And Stanislav asked then Peter, would you like to be buried or stay alive? And Peter decided that he wanted to be buried again. So they went to the grave and reburied him. However, a more substantial conflict arose. <coughs> sent his men to execute Bishop Stanislav without trial, but they didn't touch him. The king decided to kill Stanislav himself. He slew Stanislav whilst he was celebrating Mass. The bishop's body was then hacked to pieces and thrown into a pond. The murder outraged everyone, and it led to the dethronement of the king. And from that, the cult of St. Stanislav immediately upon his death, which was the 11th of April, 1079. And 200 years later, on the 17th of September, 1252, at Assisi, Stanislav was canonized by the then Pope. And he is, as I've said earlier, the patron saint of our order and of Poland. Almost all of the Polish kings ever since have been crowned whilst kneeling at the tomb of St. Stanislav, which stands in the middle of Krakow Cathedral. I think some of you have seen it. Each year on May the 8th, uh, a procession is led by the current Bishop of Krakow, goes out from the cathedral to the church where Stanislav was assassinated. That procession was popularised in the last century by uh, Cardinal Stefan Kuczynski, who some of you will remember was um, elected a cardinal um, uh, in the heart of the then Pope, and of course the then Archbishop of Krakow, Krakow Wojtyla. John Paul referred to St. Stanislav thereafter as the patron saint of moral order. So that's what we're here today for, for St. Stanislav and for the Polish heaven. I put on the front page a poem which um, Carol Otiwa wrote. You might like to read that through. Uh, it says at the end, Though what I've created wrong, the world 
Children of God. 